Hi, YouTube. It's me, Nezarak, and we're back with another uh, update for the Outlaw Star. I almost said Nez's RE. Uh, we're back with another update for the Outlaw Star. There's the Outlaw Star, just in case you're wondering what the Outlaw Star is. That's my 1988 Ford Escort GT. You can tell it's an 88 because it has the asymmetrical grille. It's only like three or four years that they had that, but you know, the car gets a lot of looks. It's a gorgeous car. But the red and gold paint scheme is something that is derived of Outlaw Star, not Iron Man. So please don't do. Why did I say it? I said it, so now everybody's gonna say it. But anyway, uh, it's not Iron Man status, it's Outlaw Star. Those are mutant reactors, those aren't tires, those are mutant reactors. Anyway, uh, the car is scattered all across my garage, all over my garage. And, I mean, look, there's, there's my crank pulley from my freaking camshaft right there. My cam pulley, you know. Uh, I got my crank pulley in that bag right there. Uh, but everything's back intact. I got the main caps in that bag and the bolts for the main caps right there. Here's one of my coolant lines right here that go on the back side of the engine. Um, this all may look daunting. Uh, I see my AC compressor. Uh, I guess it's close up. That's for my AC compressor right there to uh, hook that up to the engine. And that's, that's the mount for it. Uh, my AC compressor is over there. It's open. It, it was already cracked. I don't want to hear any, oh, you're ruining the environment by dumping Freon. Dude, it was cracked. Like, it was broken. The spout on my freaking electrical call is broken. I already have another video on that. Uh, my Outlaw Star playlist. So anyway, this looks daunting, but trust me, it's not because the main part that really messes people up is keeping their bolts in order. Now this test studs, it doesn't have a number, but they're studs. I mean, you, you know how many studs go in there because you put them in there, you know? And then I tossed in a few bolts in here that were kind of old and outdated. I replaced this bolt already, but it's all rusty. I think that's actually from the battery tray, to be completely honest. But anyway, continuing on, there's little things that you may get confused with. Like, here you see, well, you can't really see it because my camera's crappy, but here is a bag that has four bolts in it, okay? Or four nuts in it. And it says engine times two, uh, trans F with times one with a uh, big in parentheses, B-I-G in parentheses, and it says trans R times one. So there's one bolt that goes to the front transmission mount, uh, one rear bolt that goes to the rear transmission mount, and two bolts that go to the front engine mount. Now there's only one front engine mount. It could go to the front on either side. I have another bag with two more bolts in it. But anyway, I digress. There's one big one in here that goes to the front because the front actually slides and adjusts. This has actually got a giant washer on the bottom of it, but the fact that I put big on trans F means that I know it goes in the front. And you can continue to do this trend uh, like this. Uh, my trans bolts, it says uh, trans mount to trans times three, right? So I have three of those bolts. Guaranteed those three bolts go right in those holes in the trans mount, so I don't have to get confused. I don't have to wonder where that goes, you know? And the big bolt actually goes right here. I think that's for the big bolt. I think. Depending on which side this, this trans mount is on, pretty sure it's on the front. So the big bolt would go up here, you know? Uh, the back of the trans just sits back on that mount back over there. It's buried in more shit that you can't see because my crown is crappy. But the whole purpose of this video is to explain to you guys that uh, when you take your engine apart, um, your biggest concern is making sure that you index everything before you store it. Because this car has been stored and in pieces for about a year. And I have some, some regular screws and bolts that I have no clue where they go. Some of them go to the front body kit. Some of them go actually inside of the fender. Uh, I have to make sure my purge valve is okay. But it's not that big of a deal because I could, I could take my time on those things. Like, I could just put the screws that fit in the front bumper into the front bumper and it's not gonna go anywhere, you know? And more than likely, those screws will be perfectly happy there and the other screws will be perfectly happy in the other place regardless of where they belong, um, where they originally came from. The fact of the matter is, is that that step of bagging and tagging, especially if I do it with those other screws when I took apart uh, the front end, Bagging and tagging makes a difference between knowing where everything goes and getting everything almost exactly the way you had it. Sometimes shit breaks and you can't do that, but getting everything 99% right and spending the day guessing where those bolts go. So I hope this video helped you guys understand you know, how to index your parts, you know, how to index your bolts. Uh, indexing parts is a completely different story, but I mean, I really don't need a bag with a crank in it that says crankshaft. I really don't need a bag with the fuel rail, fuel rail and injectors and the fuel pressure regulator saying 
fuel rail injectors and fuel pressure regulator. I don't need a bag that says power steering pump with power steering line. I mean, I don't need a bag for that shit. So why would I put it in a bag? I, threw, I literally threw all that in that tub right there and threw it over there under the freaking bench. So, I mean, that, that saved all that issue. I don't need a bag that says freaking uh, camshaft pulley or freaking power steering mount. I mean, I, I took this shit apart so I know exactly what it is. And I know it's gold, I know it's ugly. That's probably gonna get painted black. It doesn't really matter, it's kind of concealed anyway. But that's an alternator bracket. I mean, I know where this shit goes. <laughs> and it's because I took it apart and the bolts were actually indexed. So I, I didn't just take it apart and forget about it. I took it apart and I took the time to index everything as I took it apart. So that, that saves you a lot, of a lot of time, a lot of effort, and a lot of trouble. You know, it, it, it keeps your head uh, cool enough to where when you go back to put everything together, it doesn't feel like you're guessing. You know, you're not guessing anything. You know exactly what goes where, okay? So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you guys have gotten a little bit more inspired on how to take your own engine apart. And I hope you guys take your engines apart and post some videos, because I actually want to see how other people are doing, because you know what? These shops are, are <laughs> they're ripping you guys off, and they know it. So anyway, feel free to like and subscribe. This is Nezrak. Deuces.